In the heart of the terrain countryside in the Loire Valley, a spectacular scene is unfolding. An old wind turbine is being dismantled from its mast to be restored. The region has dozens just like this one, and they're known as Eolien Bollet. In the 19th century, they were used to pump water from the ground, and today they're being given a new life. In the village of Evre sur Andre, Claude Giacometti and a handful of other enthusiasts have already got their old Eolien Bollet up and running again, out of love of their rural heritage, and also out of love of the mechanics of these strange-looking wind pumps. Stator, Stator rotor, rotor, and your drive. These are the three basic elements of this turbine. The stator directs the air to the rotor to give it as much force as possible. And the yaw drive directs it into the wind. Once the blades are turning, the yaw drive turns the whole unit to face the oncoming wind. This turbine provided the neighboring chateau with water for almost a century. Abandoned in the 1950s, it was entirely restored in 2005. And the reason groundwater is once again gushing out is thanks to the scientific brain of Jean-Claude Pestel. This retired aeronautical engineer now dedicates his life to Eolien Bollet. In his study, everything is painstakingly referenced postcards, drawings, and plans, a mine of information, which allowed him to give a second life to the wind turbine in evre sur andre I worked in aeronautics for 43 years, and when you look at an Aeolian Bollet face-on, and we had one here in Evre that was rusting away, it resembles the front of a modern jet engine. So I thought, why not restore a wind turbine? I read up on how it works and its history, and I compiled an inventory of all of these machines in Touraine in France, and a handful of them abroad. Behind the invention is a family saga, that of the Bollet family. It started with Ernest Sylvain Bollet, a traveling bell founder who settled in Le Mans and invented a new mechanical wind turbine. He had three sons who had diversified the family's industrial business. Auguste Sylvain took over wind turbines. Ernest Jules manufactured hydraulic rams. And the eldest, Amédée Ernest Bollet, wrote a golden chapter in the history of the motor car, when in 1873, he invented the first steam road vehicle with steering. A descendant of the Bollet family, Gérard, who has since passed on, spent much of his life telling the story of his family, which so symbolized the French Industrial Revolution of the late 19th century. At the Exposition Universelle, the Paris World Fair that commemorated the French Revolution, the Bollet exhibited bells, wind turbines, hydraulic rams, the steering gear for steam vehicles, and calculating machines. They had five stands at the Expo. It was fabulous. We meet up again with Jean-Claude, the wind turbine rescuer, near Amboise, where he takes us to see a remarkable Aeolien Bollet. Here's the only listed Aeolien in Touraine, that of Chateau de la Gabière, erected in 1888. It suffered a lot of damage in the Second World War because the German army across the River Loire continuously pounded it as it was used by the resistance as an observation tower to keep an eye on enemy movements. That explains the impacts of heavy shelling in the Eolien itself. And Jean-Claude's passion for the Eolien Bollet has caught on across the region. We'll see where the wind's coming from tomorrow morning. The village of Sorigny is now the proud owner of the most colorful wind turbine. The original one was destroyed in the 1960s. And so, these enthusiasts sought out another one to give back to the village part of its heritage. 
Everything's been done by the group members, all young retirees from a variety of complementary professions. And now, after a year and a half, here it is restored. I did a lot of the painting, because the other guys don't really like that, so I got lumped with it. The aeolian we salvaged already had its blades painted, so we decided to keep it as it was and repainted the blades in the colours of the rainbow. The challenge? To install a 500 kilo turbine on top of a 15 meter tall mast. It's a precision job that concludes two years of restoration. Hang on, the bolt doesn't go here. We shouldn't have put it there. We'll bend it, that's why we took it out last time. Thanks to the passion and hard work of these keepers of the wind, the Olien Bolet will keep on turning. <laughs>